LaserGene's Megaline Pro and GenVision Pro applications both allow you to export the visible portion of a graphical view in a format optimized for use with Microsoft PowerPoint. For this brief demo, I've opened the C. elegans genome in GenVision Pro and located a gene of interest that I want to feature in a PowerPoint slide. Before I export everything that is visible in the analysis view, I'm going to add some white space above the coverage graph. This space will be a placeholder for an annotation I plan to add within PowerPoint. To do this, I'll click on the Tracks tab, make sure that Coverage is selected, and then open the Layout area. I can use the Space Before slider to add some space just above the coverage graph. Now I'm ready to export the image using File, Export Image, Analysis. For the Save as Type, I'm going to choose PowerPoint Document and then press Save. The pop-up shows the range of sequence that's currently visible in the analysis view and the number of residues that will be displayed on each line in the image. I could change these as desired, but I'm going to leave them at the defaults and just press OK. So here's our exported image, and I'll just double click on that to open it directly in PowerPoint. The image components are initially grouped, so I can drag the entire image to a more optimal part of the slide if I like. In the white space that I added earlier, I'm going to paste some descriptive text from my clipboard. The text on the left was exported directly from GenVision Pro. Just like any other text in PowerPoint, these individual text boxes can be moved, edited, reformatted, or deleted as desired. When you make changes like this, note that the individual components of the image will become ungrouped. If you plan to move the image to a new location, we recommend regrouping the image components in order to keep the sequence, features, and graphs lined up correctly. To learn more about our software or to see more videos like this one, please visit our website at www.dnastar.com.